we are. Are we recording? We are. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wimbledon College. Uh, my name's David Crow. I'm head of college here, and I've, I'm here to welcome you to this graduation showcase. It is the first time, actually, that we've staged a, a virtual showcase, as it's important to us that we just didn't allow the pandemic to stop us from celebrating the achievements of our graduates and actually marking an important milestone in their journey. It has been a remarkable achievement and we can all see all the hard work that's gone into every piece of work that's on view today. I'd encourage the, our guests to please take a few minutes to watch this film before you dive into the work. I think this will give you a really good sense of the resilience and the community spirit of our class of 2020 and their experiences at Wimbledon. This class will, I think, always be remembered as a really special group of graduates who produced an amazing body of work in the most difficult of situations. So on behalf of the university, I send my warmest congratulations to all our graduates on this showcase. We are very proud of you and we wish you every success with your futures. Good luck, everyone. Oh my God, we made it. We did it. Ah! My favourite memory was actually from the first year, very early on into the course, we did a costume project for three weeks where we had to design and construct a costume from Stripney Opera. Obviously this was such a fast paced project so we had to really get to know one another very quickly um, to create a costume that we would all be proud of. After this project was done we all had celebratory drinks afterwards um, in central London and it was a really great opportunity just to see people outside the university setting but also just to get to know people a little better. This created a really strong bond that we actually continued on in the three years of our course and it strengthened year by year. It's a really good vibe, it's very generous, it's very uh, giving. It's the, it's the friendships, it's the network, it's the, it's, it's the people that makes it basically. And you feel like it's a family. The highlight of Wimbledon is the people um, and the tutors and just the, it's like a sense of community. The idea that I could go to talk to anyone and I could ask them what they're doing. If they needed help, I'd give them advice. If I needed help, they'd give me advice. Just that really great family community that we created in that studio was something I'm never gonna forget. And I'm gonna cherish that memory forever. I remember looking at the degree show and also just like looking at the course leaders and like looking up Zoe and thinking, oh, I wanna do that. And honestly, it's the best decision I ever made. I kind of went from feeling like I'd never be a real artist to feeling like I'd be a real artist. And like the latest show I had, like I've never been proud of myself and I felt proud of myself for like the first time in my life. I mean, it's everything. My life wouldn't have been like this if I hadn't gone here. I don't know what I'd be doing, but yeah, it's completely changed it. Life's changing. <laughs> I feel really lucky just because I just have heard so many people from the sort of sister colleges like, um, saying that my tutor doesn't know me like and I feel really lucky that I was part of an art school where that still existed. Really lucky to have tutors that looked at us individually and helped us to move in the direction that felt right for us rather than in a certain way maybe that the university felt that that would be the right way. I've learned a lot of different techniques in practicing as a painter but I've also learned how to put on my own shows, how to create exhibitions and all of this wouldn't have been possible without the kind of support I had here. Whenever you needed to talk to someone, you were able to talk to someone. I feel like I've created an overall practice where I understand a lot of different facets of being, being an artist. I started off making work that I can't bear to look at now. Um, it was really sad and depressing and a little bit angsty and now I feel like I've come I've come a ways to where I'm quite happy with my work now and um, I got really good tutors along the way. Keep playing, give me too much of it so I'll get sick of it and stop loving. Play that part again, it sounded sad. I don't think anybody will argue with us that this was the most difficult and most challenging final term of a degree ever. How has COVID affect you and your students? The way that um, we as a staff team have handled this and also how the students have handled it has just been kind of unbelievable, really. 
So particularly the, those students taking assessments in the second and third year, we sort of introduced the idea that they could maybe make new work. And some of this work that's been made in, the, in this situation has really surprised all of us. Some people have made completely new bodies of work over this time. Welcome to another um, session with uh, David Farley at the year three students at uh, Unit 11. Uh, I've been blabbering on for about five minutes about what we're going to do. Um, we're humorous because I've got to press record, but um, you'll get a gist. It has been a fairy tale indeed for me. Do remember Jackie, the lecturer in our course, said theatre designer is a storyteller, not just a designer. We theatre makers tell the story just for the moment. It's coming on off. the 2020 BA Theatre Design graduates many congratulations and all the best for their incredible careers that are just going to happen. You're all so tenacious, talented and imaginative that you're going to have fantastic careers all over the world. I'm here in the beautiful Somerset countryside and sending you all the very best um, and good luck. Thank you. Great to work with you for the past three years and all of your incredible shows, um, live theatre, just good luck everyone. See you soon. Come and visit us at Wimbledon. How many of you have specifics you want to talk to me about your projects and get some uh, individual or small group of feedback. Um, if you would like some of that, um, uh, put your hands uh, in the air. If you're feeling that you uh, just need to crack on and actually do some work without having to sit here and listen to me, that is completely fair enough. Anything else you, would, you want to say? To deal with this in relation to the university, to Wimbledon and to this group of students. I think the positive in this is that it's been unforgettable incredibly memorable and we've all learned a lot and produced extraordinary things that include myself in that that we've we've all reacted in really unexpected ways thank you. thank you very much i for one am really nostalgic for all the studio time but at the same time i am so excited for what is happening because i look back and i see everything we've created and everything that we're going to create is coming from a fresh place because everyone, we've got to start building up from the ground up again. And we're right there. It's perfect for us. I can't wait. And I'm so proud of every single one of us for managing it. I can't wait to make work with you all. Let's go make theater. <laughs>
Um, we spent a little bit of time uh, just trying out our, our breakout room again. I know I messed it up last. I'm very sorry about that. But I think I've learned what not to do now. <laughs> 